Hello, Dwayne Lesner from the technical marketing team at Nutanix. We're going to ensure that we have enough resources from AWS to deploy our cluster by double checking any quotas or limits that might be on our account. Let's take a look. Nutanix clusters allows you to deploy one node clusters for testing and for production, three node clusters. So based on a three node cluster, AWS needs to be configured to allow that number of virtual CPUs to be ran in your account. The default tends to be quite low and set for normal instance types. For bare metal, since they use a very large amount of virtual CPUs, you probably need to increase the amount of your vCPU limits. So if we take a, an example of an i3 metal cluster, which has 72 virtual CPUs, times three nodes, that would require 216 virtual CPUs. We also need to think about expansion and auto remediate. So if we want to expand our cluster, we need additional virtual CPU. And if we need to add a node into the cluster to remediate a bad hard drive, we also want to have headroom for that as well. So if we look at our AWS console, I'm currently in the central region. I have the EC2 instance tab open. I have the limits configured here. If I type in standard for this region, I can see what I have uh, configured already. All of the bare metal types get lumped into this running standard on demand type. So my current limit is 640. So I would be able to spin up a cluster, but if I have other EC2 instances running, that number is also going to come out of there. They do have a calculator that you can run as well. So if I add in my instance type that I want to run, I3 metal, you can see the count will come up. So I'll do a three node cluster. So it'll give it the current limit and the new limit. So if I was reaching this limit in my account for that region, I would have to put in a request for 856 to be the limit. So you also would want to go a little bit higher than that. And then you can just go down here and increase the limit. AWS is pretty quick about responding to these requests. So just select your region that you want to um, for it to go into. So you do a standard instance type, and then here you can put 856. I'm not gonna kick that off. I don't want them to, to respond, but that should get you to deploy any cluster that you need for your organization. With the limits checked, you'll be in a great spot for deploying your cluster and getting down to work. Thanks for watching.